Hi, I'm Wayne, and today we're going to show you how to build an economical brew stand. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is to source your material. For that, what I've done is picked up some bed frames, which you can get very inexpensively on Craigslist or do what I do and pick them out of somebody's garbage. After you pick these up, you'll need to cut them up into your raw materials for that. I use a simple four and a half inch grinder, available at Harbor Freight, again, very economical. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is determine what your inspiration is for your creation. Uh, you can use simply some commercially available systems for inspiration, which is what I did, uh, or you can look on the internet. There's simply thousands of them around. So the next thing I did was took a look at my equipment and figured what I needed to do in order to complete this gravity system. Again, there'll be no pumps used in this, which keeps your costs down. Obviously, the price of materials is very low, too, and it's a little bit of fun as well. Uh, the next thing I did was just draw up a very simple plan, uh, just so I had some kind of direction that I was working with today. And the only other skill you'll need uh, is to be able to weld, which I'm going to have some help with today. need to be cleaned up. I'm going to use my angle grinder again on those. A few sharp edges that can be uh, cleaned up as well. Once that's done, I'm going to rough the whole thing out and then it'll be ready for paint. And we're just kind of mocking it up here, but... Tell me. That was 
score. And there you have it. A uh, few bed frames and a few extra materials uh, make for an economical three-tiered brewing system. One of the advantages, I think, of this system is that the Cajun stove remains separate from the structure. So this can be removed at any time if you want to get a more powerful burner. But to tell you the truth, for everything I've got here, I think this will be fine for any 10-gallon batch.